Infrastructure is the bedrock of economic development in any society. Indeed, it attracts investors and fuels the economic growth, which in turn generates revenue. Goods and services are transported from one location to another without any itch. In Ogun State, the present administration under the leadership of Prince Dakwa Abiodun since inception has taken road infrastructure as a sacred duty which has been carried out with zeal and doggedness across the three senatorial districts of the state without prejudice. The newly constructed Kwansheke Adigbe Road is one of such roads as it is a major link road which was inherited from the past administration. The road is undeniably significant as it transverses three local government areas of the state, namely Abelkuta South, Obafemi Wode, and Ewekoro local government areas. This makes it pivotal to the socio-economic development of the area and the state in general. Recently, the Kansheke Adigbe Road was fully constructed and commissioned on the 25th of May 2022 by the governor, Prince Dakwa Abiodun, and had in attendance dignitaries from all works of life. The governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwa Abiodun, at the commissioning ceremony, said that the event is a symbolic demonstration of his administration's commitment to the overall development of all parts of the state. This event is a symbolic demonstration of our administration's commitment to the overall development of all parts of our dear Ogun State. And more importantly, it is a symbolic fulfillment of our promise to our people. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this road has a history. It started in December 2018 when it was awarded. This made this road one of the inherited projects from the immediate past administration. At the intention of administration, I in our usual methodical, deliberate, and inclusive approach, we nominated a committee to consider the status and viability of all inherited projects. Then, I made a promise to the good people of Ogun State that I will complete all inherited projects that have a direct bearing to the development of our dear state. The governor said the road has great economic importance as it spanned across three federal constituencies. This three kilometer road has economic importance, particularly as it traverses three local government areas Abeokuta South, Afemiwode, and Ewekoro. It provides a viable bypass to the busy Itaoshi, Nafenwa end of the Abeokuta Ipo, Songulu Road Expressway through Obada Oku. On the micro level, this road is an added infrastructure and adds to the aesthetics of this area. It has a reinforced concrete medium, a carriage width of 8 meters in each direction, and a reinforced concrete drain and walkways. More than that, its benefits on the macro level are even far greater. It is no doubt that it is an added advantage to the successful implementation of our transport master plan, especially the road transportation aspect of our multimodal transport agenda. This road will also boost our transportation development plan for our bear the state capital as we look forward to expanding the scope of coverage of our recently launched bus mass transit scheme. We are also delighted that this road takes after the culture of all our other constructed roads. The people have been enjoying the benefits of this road even before today's official commissioning. This underlines the fact that we are committed to providing amenities that will make life easier for our people other than pump and pigeonry. We are also elated that building our future together agenda for the continued development of our dear state continues to receive both state and nationwide acknowledgement. 
only on Friday we were awarded the best performing governor of the year. That was an award for all of you. This continues to serve as an added motivation. We see it as a call to deeper commitment to serve the good people of Oku State. Governor Abiodun assured the people that efforts are in top gear to construct other roads across the state. Permit me to state that efforts have been intensified towards ensuring the construction of all other major roads while new ones are being constructed for a wholesome development of Adia State. Roads such as Shagamu, Ogijo, Ikurupro is now nearing completion because when Mr. President came, we brought it to his attention and he promised he was going to do it. And it is now nearing completion. The Abel Kuta Ipo, Songo Lagos Road, is also receiving due and priority consideration by the Federal Ministry of Works. The fact that some roads are federal owned might be valid, but that offers very little comfort because there are no federal citizens. Our people hadn't made distinction on the ownership of a road or infrastructure. In fact, often states with particular roads that they ply are people's private roads and they situate and geolocate their pains when and where they feel those pains. For us as an administration, we we'll continue to do more for the individual prosperity of our people and the wholesome development of our dear state. We are irrevocably committed to a continuous provision of infrastructure and security in all parts of our dear state. In this regard, the road leading to our farm settlements, rural areas, and township roads in general will continue to receive utmost attention to further facilitate even social economic development of all parts of our dear state. All this will enhance our job creation, poverty alleviation, and food security programs. We have to date constructed almost 400 kilometers of road. 400 kilometers of road in three years. We have ensured the equitable and fair spread of these roads across our 20 local government areas. Prince Dakpo Abiodun used the opportunity of the commissioning to enjoin the private sector operators to partner with the state government in the Building Our Future Together agenda, urging the people to protect the facilities and put them into good use. I charge all our people in Ogun State, especially the residents of this area, to take ownership of this road and all other projects of administration. Please protect them because they are truly yours. By doing this, you not only partner in the successful implementation of this administration's build a future together, a together agenda, but you also be contributing your quota to a viable economy for and future generations. I sincerely would like to acknowledge the dedication and cooperation of all those behind the success of this administration and particularly these projects. Members of my executive council, members of the House of Assembly led by the Speaker, our local government administration, our traditional rulers, all members of associations and groups that have joined hand with us to make all these projects possible. I hereby solicit your continued support for this administration, your administration, in the drive to provide more infrastructure to the benefit of all those that are paying taxes and levies. Our government, that is your government, is committed to rekindling hope and to keeping our promises. And we will continue to do just that. Let me also use this opportunity to tell and call on the private sector to continue to partner with us in the success story of building the future of this state. You will continue to find us worthy, ready, and willing partners. Earlier in his welcome address, the Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Engineer Ade Akinsonya, 
represented by the special advisor to the governor on works, engineer Babatunde Additional, explained that the construction of Pansheke Adigbe Road is a bypass aimed at reducing traffic impediment as well as improve the socio-economic activities around the axis. Pansheke Adigbe Road is a major bypass that links Abekuta to Obadalku E4 and on to Lagos State, traversing three local government areas within Obu Central Senatorial District, namely Abekuta South, Upper Femi Owode, and Iwekoro local government areas of the state. The reconstruction of Pansheke Adigbe Road is aimed at reducing traffic impediment, improve social economic activities, and enhance service delivery of public institutions and health facilities in this densely populated area. As traveling along this particular road it used to be an adult tax for drivers and punishment for commuters. He said the present administration is leaving no stone unturned towards making sure that the people enjoy the dividends of democracy across the nooks and crannies of the state through intensified massive road construction. Since the inception of the present administration in the state, our dear governor is leaving no stone unturned towards making sure that democratic dividends are extended to all the nooks and crannies of the state as efforts are continually intensified on massive road projects with a view to alleviating the hardship being experienced by our, our motorists, residents and other users in the state. Encomium was showered on the state government from dignitaries who cut across all works of life on the successful completion of the road project. On behalf of Tadwesi, the Alakia and Paramotula of the Balanit, I have this authority to give you kudos for the developmental, developmental projects that we are bringing in the Balanit. And most particularly, this road from Adibe through Panchete to Obako, which was for a long time impassable and practically a death trap. We thank you very much and we hope that in the next one year and by the time we get to second term in office we'll be able to commission many more projects like this in a balance and um, we pray that god gives you the energy the wisdom and the wherewithal to provide more for us yes excellency yesterday has spoken today is talking and tomorrow we show the way this road we are commissioning today is a good, viable infrastructure that has opened up the businesses of our entrepreneurs. It's a thin road that has saved all those who are living on this side of Abel Buta and Ebala to link them to old Lagos Road. They don't have to pass through the traffic of the township. And not only that, I took my time to go along the road and saw the lightning of this road, which has given the road importantly security of property and security of all people living on this road. Moving on that. To have really made this road possible to the users. Security wise, we are giving them security. And at the same time, we are opening up. So I'm giving kudos to your excellency and your team. And like the representative of the Square Majesty said, we are Oliver Twist. We are asking for more. And that is why I said yesterday has spoken. Today is talking. And tomorrow, we are looking forward to it. I want to attest to the fact that uh, Mr. Governor has been very generous to all segments of the state in terms of infrastructural development. And I'm not going to limit myself to Ogu Centre alone, even though I am from there. But then, I have to say it loud and clear 
I could state out of assembly recognize the fact that the governor is very just, equitable, and general in his approach to the development of the state. On that note, I want to say that uh, we shall continue to give the necessary support. And uh, we always look at the project that we bring to us in the house, just to make sure that they cover all the areas. But to cover is not enough as doing it that way. We have had governors that will have projects I like uh, listed for every senatorial district, but that will not be done. But today, I can attest to the fact that our governor is a governor that is performing across the length and breadth of Ogun State. And I will encourage him to do more, as we also we give him the necessary value. We all know the importance of this road in this area. Apart from the fact that this area is a very highly commercial area, the population also is so high. And this will go a long way in assisting the people. It will also bring a lot of development to this area. I want to thank you for this wonderful uh, construction. I know you've done a lot on infrastructure in this state. And I pray that God in his internet mercy will give you another chance to be able to continue on this job. We thank you so much. And on behalf of myself and my family, we are looking forward to more. On behalf of the management of St. Joe's House Construction Company, I want to congratulate His Excellency, the Governor of Oakland State, Prince Dr. Abiodu MFA, on the action on the official commissioning of this 3 km node Pashenke IT Railroad, which was awarded to our company on 12 December 2018 by the immediate past administration in Oakland State. Your Excellency's outstanding uh, achievements in the area of road construction is unprecedented as you have over the years demonstrated a high sense of responsibility, the doggedness to achieve success in all contracts awarded, and above all the uncommon love you have always exhibited to the people of your state by making sure that the infrastructure development is given utmost attention is deserves having realized that provisions of infrastructure is a panacea, a panacea for unimaginable development of any state or nation. The remarkable successes recorded so far by Your Excellency in the administration of our state did not come as a surprise, have been very successful in the private sector long before assuming mental of leadership in their states. I therefore once again wish your Excellency more successes in the administration of the Gateway States and the very lower the first time in office. Giant Stride crew caught up with some dignitaries and road users alike and they expressed their feelings on the road construction. I, I cannot even know how I'm very grateful to the governor of Oakland State for complete this road because for the past many years nobody can even say that they can pass through this road. We that we always go through this road, we know all the suffering, we are always suffered for it. But today, it has become a past story. Any road that is realizing or compl and completed like this, you know it's going to even boom the business and most of the companies around this place. Even it's going to be an access to all the farmers that come all from the rural areas. The only thing I know is that uh, the maintenance of the road is already in the hands of the people. They should not even throw any batting inside their gutter. All these uh, waterways that they have already constructed. And people should even take note of the road. Even if it has anything in damages, they should consult the government immediately so that the government can even come to their rescue on it. I want to appreciate the present administration led by His Excellency Prince Dr. Dapo Abiyadu MFR for completing this uh, gigantic uh, project. Of course, for those of us that really understand and knew how this road was before, we will continue to appreciate this singular gesture. Uh, indeed, we either is a good road network, uh, it has a, a multiple impact. The economy, the commerce, everything will be uh, possibly affected. I want to appreciate the fact that um, the Middle Pass Administration started the project and by God's grace, 
because of that spirit on the part of the governor, this uh, project is in completion. We want to commend his effort. This is one of the several projects that back upon by this present administration. Indeed, the construction has really brought total relief to the residents of this uh, assets. It will impact the life of the people in the area positively and to increase the economic activities of this area. Once you have good rules, it will enhance movement of people, movement of goods and services, and it will improve the economy of the state as well. It's actually going to be a relief, an outright relief, an absolute relief. One of the basic um, needs or amenities of the people is a good road. So if this is one of the things that has been put in place for the people of this general area, I, 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 I totally believe that it's going to give, it's going to bring a kind of total ease to people applying, to commit as applying this road and uh, uh, the populace within this area. Without any reservation, the Pansheke Adigbe Road would stir up the socio-economic activities of the area, make for easy passage for commuters going to Lagos from Ibarra axis of the state capital and provide relief to the users during raining season. Farm produce from the rural areas would also be transported to the city without any hitch.